What's going on guys? Welcome back to the FM22 Journeyman series. Again, we've only played three games off camera here as we have made it to the FA Trophy fourth round against Woking. I I, I think we should play this one um, on camera so you guys can see it. They're 13th in the Vanarama National League, Vanarama National League. So yeah, it, this could be our final stage. Like This is a pretty tough team, <laughs> a pretty tough team in National League, you know, a league above. So Maybe something we can take is they're on pretty poor form. Couple injuries in the team, but nothing, you wouldn't say anything massive. But yeah, taking a look at their form, if anything, I don't know. That, it looks like they should be lower in the table. I don't know. They got some wins there. I guess they don't have a lot of draws for the season. So yeah, they picked up their points here and there. I'm not, like, I think we have a chance. <laughs> I don't want to discount ourselves too much, but I always see, yeah, when a team's in the league above you, they should have you know, some better players you would like to think they would. Uh, but what we did was 4-0 against Southport. I was happy with that, you know, scoring goals against Blythe Spartans as well. Two games in a row, we scored four goals. But then, unfortunately, Kettering Town, we rested some players because only four days later. And, yeah, shows the effect. Away from home, rest some players, you get killed. And just to show you how we set up there and... We did make a couple of our signings, as you know, the injuries situation. Don't forget with Mann, uh, Craig Mann, he how, how long is he still missing? Two to four months. That, that's like, yeah, big. Oh, I don't know if he'll make it back later in the season. Uh, we will have to see. Uh, and then also Jack Dunn, 12 days to three weeks. Yeah, from the minimum to maximum, there's a big difference, really. But yeah, I want to show you the players that we brought in and just how we went with those moves. Uh, we've got, we've already used our, you know, long-term loans. So for our loan that we got in Jaden White, it was a short-term. So we've got him to April. We did it the maximum as a short-term loan, which is three months. So you guys know that if you've run out of doing, yeah, <laughs> long-term loans, you can do, th like we've done no short-term loans. So we could do this, yeah, for the rest of the season. If we want to, if we get him again, uh, as it runs out. Um, yeah, we'll see. He picked up an injury, funnily enough, <laughs> in his first game. He didn't really do too well, to be fair. Oh, well, his first start, anyway, brought him on late in that game. But, yeah, uh, he, he's still there for backup, and he'll rotate in. And then our other signing, oh, Central, oh, of course. So we brought in Shane O'Connor because this happened. So just type in released there, Jordan Lussie. What happened with him? He, I don't like this. Remember when we played him? Like, he was asking for more first-team football. We gave it to him. We started using him. Let's go to his form. Okay, you can't see, like, how it was. But, yeah, we were playing him almost consistently again. So, he was... It, again, it's a strange one. He believes he's not good enough to be a regular player. So, he was coming at me, like, in a weird way. Like, I don't like... He leaves because he thinks he's not good enough. Regardless of how we were using him, which was pretty often recently. So he decided to dip because he didn't think he was good enough. Like, mate, where's your self-belief? <laughs> like, come on. Especially where his determination is 12. I wouldn't say that's a weakness for him. But anyway, so that's just a weird one for me. How they've how they have that as one of those things they complain about. They're complaining about an issue they have with themselves. Not that he wasn't playing. So that's the reason we got to change there anyway. Shane O'Connor, if anything, a bit more experienced. You could say he's weak physically. And of course, with these players, the wage... Okay, 75 pounds, that's nothing. Some bonuses. Hey, not the same as a free loan. But yeah, I really like his technicals and mentals, and I think he could show his experience late in the season. And then with Jaden White, yeah, 20 pound, uh, 20 pound on his wage, and then that's it. He's got a preferred position of left wing, but yeah, hopefully we'll be all right <laughs> to see him out uh, because we use left mid specifically. We'll see how that goes. Generally, wait till the manager complains about it. Generally a month or so, isn't it? And then you'll say, okay, we'll use him in that respective position, so... Yeah, that's all right. But anyway, it's close enough. Close enough to a free. I can't even remember what Lussie was on anyway, but yeah, he decided to leave. So let me know on those moves. But something I'm actually surprised with, how well they're doing. I don't want to be like too macho and be like, oh yeah, we deserve a new contract. 
But generally, with overachieving like this, we would get a contract offer. We haven't done so. Like, it's more so just out of interest because we're not going to sign it anyway. You would think they would offer us one when we've got an A+. Plus. <laughs> but they haven't actually offered us the deal yet. So that's intriguing. This could, you know, it could be a confidence booster. Like if we win this, saying, oh, why not? Why not could we all go all the way? And if we can show we can beat a National League team, why can't we beat some others? But... So this is how we went into the last game. This is the team we're using in the previous game. I haven't, you know, got the team ready for this game. So we'll make a change, but give you an idea maybe, yeah, why we struggled. But we needed to keep legs fresh as well. There we go, made some changes there. And what, it's annoying. The, the winger we brought in, I guess having Thomas, we'll put him on and just leave Daly there. And Merrill. Only other midfielder that's really fit, so we're just going to have to deal with it like that. O'Connor drop out, bring Ward back in, who's been, you know, reasonable. McKay, oh, it's a real intriguing one. Like, both are, but it, it's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. I'd like to think we go out there strong, and then we rest guys when we need them to. Whew, it's a big one. But I like, oh, Waters, yep, Kuto. you've got to make sure you get that change in and uh, make the right player. But I like this. Quite a few connections as well. Like, also, you can just... You get... There's areas of the team. Like, it's our two centre-backs. Wilson Flowers, the both former Burnley youth players. Oh, Benny Kuto. He's just been... He feels... He, I've already mentioned... Like, I've got him on the short list. I put him indefinitely. He's one of the rare players. Well, the only... Just say, the only player at this team where he could be relevant signing in a, at a future club we're at. Really? Because he's got some potential. He's only 18. And I feel, do you think, from your guys' point of view, you think he's developing that way? You want to follow his career and hopefully take him on elsewhere if he's interested <laughs> to wherever we move. Um, Curran and Thomas are decent, like they're decent little wingers, just to show you their attributes as well. But yeah, they've wingers we've relied on this season with a bit of versatility in them as well. We've used them here and there. Ward, you know, he's a threat. Whittam, he's shown as that experienced, you know, ball-winning mid. And then our strikers, Knowles and McKay. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm liking this team. It's really good. It's been good for this season. It's not where their boys, I think they could do it after a promotion. Maybe some of the players, but yeah, for this season, yeah, we've had this decent little team we've put together and the best 11 yeah definitely i'm i'm confident in that's it i'm confident in our boys and the 11 uh, we're currently rolling with let's get it so yeah go point finger show everyone the recent praise has been justified pretty yeah pretty motivating maybe for the defenders we'll say i have faith in you okay no real reaction now let's just get in like this come on boys come on boys let's upset here like this is away from home against a team you know a league above us they're sitting mid-table, so it's not like they're just having a horrendous season. But they've been a bit up and down. Now. Ooh, okay. It's a rainy day as well, so it can be one of just these... Tyco Give you an idea. What are their players looking like if they were in our team? Effiong, okay. He He's strong. He, very, very good physically. Who else? Who's their wingers? Okay, reasonable. And then Lofthouse. I'm not going to click on every single player, but... It looks like, I don't know, we don't we haven't clicked on their whole team, but I feel like they're not going to be such a step up from us, which is generally the case with the National League as well. It's not the same level like from Championship to Premier League, but you just feel each player is that little bit better. But we'll have to see. They're just playing really well there. Come on. Just clear this. Kuto, just got it. That was Ernie's really option, trying to get it out of there, but they're always going to get it back now. Lofthouse, we just looked at him right there. Gets across in deep and okay. But they didn't look that great, <laughs> like in terms of our attacking players versus theirs. And those two combined. So yeah, we saw how that happened. Uh, that's what we didn't want. So we're going to go attacking that. A pretty early goal scored. Get some crosses in. Maybe demand more. And that might be the case in the end. Unless unless we can get something going ourselves. Ward's already on a yellow card. So you know we just address that. Just ease him off the tackles. Come on. Can we get something going ourselves? It's our turn now. It's our turn. Ward to Knowles. 
No! Oh, I was seeing that. I just had this slight feeling that would have... Okay, Kuto. He's been so good. Not today individually, but the season, of course. But, oh, that shot we had, that chance we had. Oh, Kuto! He's really... He's a cult hero. He's a cult hero. Kuto hero. Definitely there's something there, but he was offside anyway, so that doesn't even all matter in the end. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was inches. But it looks like we're not seeing much. And it would hurt if they got a goal late here. But there's every chance it's going to happen. Right. You do feel they're in control of the game a bit just with how they're playing it right now. And they go back. East them. They're gonna, yeah, they're looking really in control of it. But that chance came to nothing in the end. We might have a chance us our way. Ah, come on. Show. Intent to win the ball. Nah. Cross. Feel a cross coming. And it's another goal. Yeah. At least my early, my first reaction, yeah, was, yeah, it's probably going to be where we <laughs> where we get knocked out when we eventually get drawn against a National League team. My initial anticipation of this game looked to be correct. Hmm. It's tough to take, but we're playing a better team. I'm not sure if there's much we can do from here. I have to turn this game around. You always can. You always can, but I just think we need a bit more. We need a bit more. What are we going to show? Ward. See, that's a good interception. But go on with it. Show we've got that quality. Knowles. Oh, that's good. See, that's what we're just wanting to see. Exactly. Come on, boys. We've got hope. We've got hope. Encourage after that. Let me know what do you guys do in terms of shouts when you've just scored but you're still losing because <laughs> you can't praise. Normally, I praise after goals. But generally, that's when we take a lead or we're already winning. So, yeah, let me know what shout you go for. Just for me, encourage always generally makes them happy. So, yeah, we roll with that. I think I'm going to try pushing Curran up here. I'm not sure how it's going to impact his rating yet. It's probably going to be the same. If anything, I'll use the inverted winger. And then Kuto, get attack. Get on the attack. Unfortunately, he's not like a wing back in his positions. Like, in terms of pushing up. He won't have a good rating there. So, it would just be on a fullback as a wingback attack. All right, so let's go. And we'll just try and yeah, make the width just a bit wider. Okay. Any subs, O'Connor? Maybe for Witham. And we'll bring on, yeah, our new signing in O'Connor. I think he was Mazala. Always like a Mazala. Come on. I'm happy with those changes to go out there. Come on. Maybe get an equalizer. Keep this going. Keep this game alive. It's really, I just feel we need to do something. Maybe go more expressive. Go all direct. All direct. Cargbo's been pretty poor, but there's not a lot we can do. Like, even if we're trying to go three at the bat, there's no real change we can make. We just got to leave him out there. Thomas hasn't been great, though. Let's bring on Luke Daly. Yeah, we just got to die. Like, Jack McKay, this is almost, for me, this is almost conceding. Because he's not as good, but... Jack's had a poor game, and that I think that's hurt us because he's, yeah, one of our better players, <laughs> let alone forwards. Now demand more. I'm just thinking, because I can easily see this game right now just ending 2-1, where I just... I just feel we don't have it in us to get that equaliser. Like, I, I just can't see... Like, I'm not seeing it happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're not seeing it. O'Connor is natural as an attacking midfielder as well. So maybe what if we push him up a bit? Get in a creative role, advanced playmaker, just to get, get that something extra going. Let's see, it's not as much as a 4-4-2 anymore, but yeah, come on. But I really, I can... How long without a... That, I'm, you can tell, I just raise my voice a bit when I get a bit frustrated. Like, I'm... I'm I, it's like I'm 
I'm speechless because I just feel we'll run at defense. I'm just trying to refresh, make a change, go over the opposition defense. But I just feel like we're not seeing it. Move out like defensive lineup, engagement up, and use the offside trap if we're doing that. But yeah, almost just feel like we're not going to see it. And which is a disappointing. That is very, very disappointing. Football manager, that is very disappointing. That is very disappointing. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. Don't want to say too much, but. What could we have done tactically? We're trying to go for it. And you saw, I sent, that's why I like to point it out. I sensed that from like the, what, 70th minute or so, like last 20 minutes of the game. I knew this was just going to end without another chance. Like you can just feel it. <laughs> so that's a bit frustrating when you know it's coming. Improved deal for Knowles. Hmm. I mean, he's on a non-contract at this point in time. Appearance fee 350. So we can keep that in mind when we go in with the negotiation. If we can get him around 400, wouldn't be anything too different. Well, can we drop him to a regular start? Of course, the lower you drop the playing time, that can, you know, you can get him cheap on the wage. So, like, yeah, we could probably even try on 350. I knew sub increase because, yeah, he'll always play. If he's on the bench, he'll definitely be subbed on. Goal bonus, try and drop because we know how he bangs the goals in. Uh, winning the National League North. I mean, I don't mind. I might even put that up to a K because, yeah, regardless of what happens, we're, we're leaving after this season. So I've committed to that uh, without telling the team. I'm not sure if you can tell them. I'm going to leave at the end of the season. So, come on. 375. I'm confident we can get him on that. There we go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So, we can just maintain his happiness for the rest of the season. I'd love to round yeah, round up the season. Oh, we're only in January, but yeah, I'd love to maintain the top. So, there's plenty of time for him to, you know, keep his form up. So, to keep him happy with that is good. If you decline that and he got unhappy, yeah. See, now almost, yeah, the wage budget's been cut into a bit. But I'm almost more concerned how it's going to impact, yeah, the profit margins or if we're going to have more expenditure. And growing as a manager as well, I think we need to try and sneak a job that's higher than our reputation, even if it's little. If it's like a team that's one-star rep, um, our manager rep will, can go to that. Like, we've done so well, we've been overachieving, but that means nothing. It means nothing. If you can't be improving your badges or moving to a bigger club, we're going to be staying on half a star rep unless we get... The promotion could maybe see after that because that in turn could improve the club's reputation. So you keep that in mind, but we'll see. That's why you'd want to wait to leave or you want to wait to see before you leave if the club rep is going to go up after a promotion. Not like residing on the final day after it's just confirmed but take a look at the wage budget that must have been different contracts we had offered or something because it's gone back to that 425 oh no yeah that would make sense it would make sense if it stayed and not go back because he's on a non-contract right now he's not actually on a wage so i'm confused why <laughs> yeah yeah it's like that now so yeah dom Knowles, he's got his contract now so maybe that wage might return let's let's find out now it's to that 190 so he's the only one we're negotiating a contract with and it's altered for the third time. <laughs> as we're getting deeper into the month as well. Yeah, income, it's a little bit below the expenditure. And this is more just for the league now. Forget the money. But we've just got to focus on the league. We've got no cups in the way. So if you take a look at the games, most games will like have a seven-day break between. And then sometimes others are four. But majority for the remaining games of the season, yeah, will be that week break. And that it's handy. Like a two two point gap between us and Chorley. There's a real chance we can, yeah, get that auto promotion. But you slip you slip down a bit, it may be playoffs. Okay, so we're gonna get into a game now, Chester. We really want to show our dominance, why we're top of the league here. And as I said, out of the cups now, we can really focus. 
Let's have a strong finish. The second second half of the season. So on the same point, I really like this eleven at the moment. <laughs> Again, how we have a few connections there with players. Like I'm happy with how it looks. That's always disappointing, I guess, with that result uh, that we played out in the cup. I feel we were on the edge of getting an equalizer. We just, yeah, we didn't see it. <laughs> Bring Jaden White, uh, the guy we just got on loan. So yeah, strong, strong again. Let's let's get a win in the league at home. This is generally when we're at our best in front of the fans. If we go point finger, it's interesting how the form table is looking. Chester are twentieth, while we're in ninth. <laughs> interesting difference for a couple reasons. The difference between us and then realizing our current form, we're ninth. It's nothing special. Okay, first 15 minutes. If we're not seeing anything yet, yeah, we'll encourage the lads. Come on, here we go. Kuto to Ward. Who was that to? <laughs> now, Thomas. Dangerous ball to McKay, straight at Gray. It's Gray with the goal kick. Can we win this? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kicked. Way too far, way too far for them to have a chance. But now it's Thomas. Yeah, go through the middle, then spread it. We're very efficient at doing this, and we try to do that. Switch the play. And there we go. Oh, that would have been a really neat goal. I was very impressed. As a manager, very impressed with how we just created that chance. Come on. Love that. Now, Kuto. Dangerous ball. And that is headed away. Now, uh, Cohen and Curran wins it. I think we'll set up for a ball here. I can see it. I can see it happening. Or Thomas, he's going to go on a run. Maybe feed the fullback in Cargbo to Thomas. Waiting for a, yeah, perfect cross. Perfect position for a winger there. Just didn't come off. Flowers goes very deep. Thomas, I love those. I love those. Where you got your winger, you've got another player that goes past your winger, then you play it back to him for a cross. Those are amazing. I love them. Like here. Yeah. Look at it here. Perfect. Good inception by Flowers. Went long. How that got to Knowles. And you go back to the winger. How they can hit the cross like that. It's absolutely perfect. So effective. Oh, they got Bryce Entwambe. He was a youngster from Birmingham back in the day. Yeah, that's strong. Yeah, remember strong DM. Yeah, don't ask me how I remember. Yeah, like... Years pile up of playing football manager. You remember certain players at different stages. And yeah, I, I think I had a Birmingham say. It would have been like FM09, FM10 or something like that. And yeah, he was a youngster. But yeah, I remember him. It's almost like, wait, is that him? Like you think about it. Oh, you see that name and you get a memory. <laughs> you get a flashback. So hopefully we do get to halftime here with this 1-0 lead. We do feel in control of the game. We are creating a bit more than them, especially on target chances, quality chances. So yeah, uh, let's keep it up. We need another goal to make sure of it, though. Especially in the lower leagues, man. Just one error defensively. Yeah, we could lose it. So we need to make sure we get another. Or they get a corner. They get a set piece. This is what I mean. We've got to be careful. Got to be careful, guys. Got to be careful. Uh, just hit another praise. Hit another pra And how did they get that? Centre-backs got unhappy. And a few others. I'm praising you guys for winning the game or leading the game. Uh, we'll take Widom off. Let's bring Shane O'Connor. What I like about him, he could like play a few roles here, but I think we're just going to go simple, just central midfielder support uh, for him. And then maybe change Ward. Yeah, we gotta we got to change that, or I feel we need to change that anyway. Put him on a Mezala then. And actually, Keaton Ward, he's, you know, decent. What I mean, his future. <laughs> his future is decent. He's, yep. Yeah, Potentially League 2 standard. Uh, then Thomas. Let's bring on Luke Daly. Luke Daly. Let's go. Freshen up the legs a little bit. And let's slow down the game. Let's try and slow down the game. Work ball into the box. All right. Let's see what that's going to create. Because funnily enough, they've actually... Yeah, our opponents have had more possession. So I would love for this to turn into a goal. Especially if it's a goal in that fashion. But if we go quick here... Oh, penalty maybe. No. Curran. Not quite. I mean, created a pretty decent chance for us. Maybe a finalizing sub to finish things off. Curran hasn't had the best of games. We'll bring on White. We'll bring on White there. 
And again, because he's a new signing, just give you a refresh of his attributes. <laughs> Low key for me as well. Yeah, he, he hasn't got bad attributes. Like he's lowest there. What, eight crossing for the attributes he needs in his, that position? Considering he's only 19 as well, might be a decent talent, <laughs> at least compared to where we are at the moment. Yeah, we're looking like playing this out, but you're always wary. Only a one goal lead. You're always wary about it. We don't deserve. We don't deserve to lose it late. We don't at all. Kulto, come on, Benny. Come on, Benny. I don't want to celebrate. Like, even I wanted to with that tackle, but it could lead to a chance. Come on. Knowles. Come on. Celebrate your new contract with a goal. Hmm. Now we're worried. No, we deal with it. Kagbo, come on. Come on. We'll see. It would make sense if we finish this off with a goal. To seal it. Oh, there hasn't been a shot yet. That's why we're worried. But Flowers, good intercepting. Then Knowles, he deserves that. A bit of luck off the, you know, the save off Gray. But see, sometimes it works out that way, where you get what you deserve. And we get, we did deserve that getting our way. You could say Chester were unlucky. <laughs> I would have been frustrated at that. I would have been mad at my keeper, but uh, that was Knowles having a lot of power, just yeah, getting a lot of power in that drive where it would have been really tough to save effectively, and that's what it is, 2-0. <laughs> I swear, man. I felt that going the other way, knowing our luck, but we got it. We got a very good defense. Look at the defender's ratings. Excellent performance. Benny Kuto. Benny Kuto. Can we put some respect on his name? Because a lot... Like, yeah, you understand why it happens to match winners, like the goal scorers. But how good has he been in his defensive role? Like, let's speak on that for a bit. Like, because, as I said, attackers, strikers always get the plaudits when they're scoring. But he's phew, such a high level consistently over the season doing his defensive job. It's another injury, Luke Daly. It's probably a short term, okay, six to nine days, maybe the next couple games. But exactly... Six headers one at 100% rate. Ten tackles one. Great rating. Like, let's put some let's put some respect on Benny's name, and that's why we're keeping tabs on him and got him on the short list indefinitely wherever we go next, considering he's Portuguese as well. I was wondering, yeah, he was born in Portugal as well. Then he's come. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know his story, but it's not like he was born in England. He's just Portuguese nationality. So yeah, he's a, he'll have a bigger chance of you know moving elsewhere if his contract runs out. Because he's starting to become one of my favorites. He's definitely one of my favorites, Dom Knowles. Because I'm, I'm seeing things from a future perspective, our next team's perspective, like another random team in Europe or something. Dominic Knowles is probably not going to be a target. But Benny, yeah, real chance. So we're going to leave it there for now. As I said, a strong focus on the league for the rest of the season. I think we play a bit more off camera now because we're not approaching, oh, a cup game. We want to show this. So yeah, maybe we continue a bit more. But if you guys can leave a thumbs up on the video, I do hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, there is a lot more to happen with it, of course. The journeyman, oh, so many more clubs to manage and players to manage. It's going to be exciting. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the ride so far. Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.